Entering the AIS arena, concert queues are replaced by social distancing markers. Descending into the venue, the stars of the show, vaccination staff. The stage set for Friday's rollout ramp up. The ACT getting a small share of the extra half a million Pfizer vaccine doses from Singapore. We have been advised that the ACT will receive 8,344 vaccines. To put this in perspective, this is roughly the equivalent of a big single day of vaccination in the ACT. But every vial counts, with Pfizer bookings opening today for Canberrans aged 16 to 29. A power outage this morning caused headaches for those trying to get an appointment, though nearly half of the 30,000 Canberrans registered were able to get through. If you haven't pre-registered or for some reason your online booking isn't working, if you have to call the line, please do request a callback, but then be a little bit patient. For authorities, vaccination rates are critical to slowing the spread. The ACT today recording 23 new cases, including 11 who were infectious while in the community, for a total of 256 active cases. There are now more than 200 exposure locations across Canberra and 13 people are in hospital, including four in ICU. We're receiving a lot of questions about dates and times for exposure locations. These will continue to change as we interview and re-interview people and we receive more clarity about people's movements. Outside, spring has sprung and from 5pm tomorrow, extended exercise time limits mean there'll be more opportunities for Canberrans to soak up the rays in household groups with up to four others. On social media, Canberrans called for clarity on those restrictions, not all convinced they're appropriate. But the Chief Minister insists it presents minimal risk, provided everyone uses common sense. What we've not been seeing, I don't think there's any examples, uh, even in New South Wales, uh, of people walking around outside in a park, nowhere near anyone else, infecting someone. Epidemiologists say ensuring people are comfortable makes it more likely they'll comply with restrictions for longer. But a warning, compliance must be closely monitored. In the Sydney outbreak early on, that there was some, the messaging wasn't clear and people perhaps um, didn't quite know what they could and couldn't do. And, and, and there was quite a lot of mixing still going on. Um, so we need to be mindful of that. Even more so in workplaces. Over the next couple of weeks, the wearing of face masks will be the primary focus of ACT policing and our partners. You know, we've got to do the right thing. We're asking the Canberra community to continue to do the right thing and to stick to the health directions. The government's also calling on landlords to do the right thing this afternoon, signing off on residential and commercial lease declarations to give greater protections to tenants impacted by COVID-19, with tax incentives to be announced in the coming days. Measures that will be sorely needed as the ACT enters its fourth week of lockdown tomorrow night. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.